If I asked you to think of an industry that makes up 8.3% of Canada's GDP, what would you think of? Perhaps the oil and gas industry or tech. Those are about 5% each. Maybe financial services or construction. Those are about seven. The charitable and not-for-profit sector makes up over 8% of Canada's economy. And not only that, employs one in 10 Canadians and most importantly, meets the basic necessities of 11% of Canadians and growing. That's actually a stat that's a couple years old and things have only gotten worse. And charities are unique. They're not private companies that sell their wares and make a profit and reinvest in themselves. They typically give away their services for free to those that need them. And they're not government that provide public services because they have no ability to tax to raise money for those services. So how do they pay for them? Through charitable giving from individuals primarily like you or I. And it's important to understand why individuals give because while well, there is that tiny benefit of a tax receipt, I'm guessing the last time you donated to a charity, it wasn't because months from now, you'll get a little of that back with your tax return. It's coming from somewhere else. So I went to review the economic literature on charitable giving and surprisingly or perhaps not surprisingly, there's very little. And I decided to perform the research myself. Looking at data from 2007 and 2009, the Great Recession, I wanted to see what effect that had on charitable giving here in Canada. And I found two things that are interesting. One is that household income is very, very tightly tied to charitable giving. A 1% rise in the average house household income it correlates to a 1% rise to the average household charitable giving. But that also is uh, true when incomes fall. And more importantly, I looked at what happens when unemployment raises within provinces and what the effect that has on charitable giving. So during the Great Recession, unemployment rate rose in provinces from 1% to 2%. And to try to quantify that effect, I took a look at what happened to the, the gifts to charities and saw that for every one percentage point raise in unemployment, say going from 4% to 5% unemployment, there was effectively a 20% reduction in household charitable giving. That is a one-fifth slash in charities' budgets when they need it most. And I would say that for an industry that is 8.3% of Canada's GDP, accounts for one-tenth of the workforce, and meets the needs of over 11% of Canadians every single day, it deserves more of a place in the economic literature. Thank you.